Hey everyone, it's Sydney and welcome back to Making It Up. So today I'm going to talk about some beauty brands that are made in the USA. So I thought it'd be a really fun twist and like just fun video for 4th of July. And so I'm going to be talking about some brands that are all made in the USA. Now this information that I found, I found on blushinginhollywood.com and I also found on USA Love List. And so I just have a few brands to talk about. I think one of the most exciting ones is actually behind me, which is Pacifica. So I only brought one product out with me because I have a lot of the products, you know, in my purse or in my shower because they have a whole range of products. They have shampoos, conditioners, hair care, um, body care, all kinds of stuff. I really enjoy their shave cream because I have really sensitive skin on my legs and it's the only shave cream that really prevents me from getting that painful stubble and from, you know, getting razor burn and things like that. So I do enjoy that. And I've also been enjoying this powder. It is called the Neutral Mattifier with Cherry and Minerals. I just noticed that, you know, it gives my face a really nice finish. I just kind of lightly press it in. I don't like to dust like that because it creates streaks on my face and it really cakes my makeup. But I also love the packaging. That's kind of what sucked me in was the cherry blossoms. And it's so cute because on the inside it says, you are so pretty. And also another thing to note is that they are 100% vegan and cruelty free. It says, you know, right here on the back, it says on their website. And their products are recyclable. So I mean, it's just, it's a really great brand in general, regardless of whether you're looking to only purchase products that are made in the US or not. Um, that's not something I do. I just thought it'd be fun for this video to talk about products that are made in the USA and that are amazing because we do outsource a lot of our beauty brands that are really good. And so, yeah, um, Pacifica, I wouldn't say is high end. I wouldn't say it's, you know, the low end of the drugstore. It's very in the middle of the road. Their products are worth, um, they are kind of expensive sometimes. But I mean, when you look at the sourcing of where you're getting this product, it's kind of amazing. It's really amazing to have a product that's vegan, cruelty free, the packaging's recyclable, and it's made in the USA. So you kind of have to just think about what's important to you. For some people that's you know not even a factor, and for some people that is really important. So I just figured I'd note that. And I'm really excited to see more products from Pacifica. Unfortunately, a lot of their cosmetics that I have tried, um, with the exception of like face products like this and powders, haven't been too impressed with. Um, but that doesn't mean they won't work for someone else. I have very oily skin, so it's very difficult for me to find a lot of products that are cream-based that work for me. But I am really enjoying this, and overall, I do enjoy Pacifica's lines. And yeah, so I'm really excited. And I think I might pick up some more products to try by them, because it's really cool. And I'm just so obsessed with this packaging. So obsessed. The next one I want to talk about is Mario Badescu. They're a skincare brand, and I really enjoy their facial sprays. Although this is not in considered drugstore makeup, I say it's drugstore prices. Also on the back, it says made in the USA, cruelty-free, paraben-free. So if that's something you're looking for, that's definitely something right here that I'd be looking at. I don't know if it's vegan, but it's really cool. And it has like, for me, I use it to kind of like settle the powders on my face before I go in with the setting spray because it just kind of melts everything together and it's really been helping my skin in the summer as well. Sometimes I spray it on my shoulders or on my chest um, just to give my skin a lot of hydration. So I really recommend this one. This is the cucumber aloe and green tea. I also have the rose one, which I have enjoyed as well. And yeah, I really like this brand. Next, I want to talk about Philosophy. Um, I'm pretty sure that Philosophy is sold in China. Therefore, most people would consider it not cruelty-free because they do test on animals when it is required by law. Um, I have really enjoyed this product. I have come through a few bottles of it. Um, I was introduced to it actually by my eyebrow lady, my, my girl, my home dog who waxes my brows to perfection <laughs> um, and she had just mentioned that you know I should try this for my blackheads on my nose and she's a trained esthetician or an esthetician by trade 
and it works amazing for me. It really gets in there, cleans everything out, and I will probably repurchase and purchase again and again because I really truly believe in this product and enjoy this product. I've seen physical results and my face feels so much smoother after I use it. So I use it pretty much on hair washing days, which for me, I wash my hair two to three times a week depending on just weather, how it looks, if it's even re reacting well with dry shampoo. Sometimes my hair, I'll put like, I feel like a pound of dry shampoo and it doesn't suck it up. But yeah, so I really enjoy this. Another brand that I have pretty much been into ever since I was like 13 is Urban Decay. This is not the only product I own from Urban Decay, but this is the one that I talk about the most because it's the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray for with oil control. This is the older packaging, but I probably will repurchase it when I'm out of all the other setting sprays that I'm trying out right now. Um, it is quite pricey, but you get a lot of product for what you pay. You get four ounces. So... I have really been enjoying it. I have been enjoying it for years. I just don't really know what more I can say. For me, it's one of the only makeup setting sprays that really makes a difference in keeping my makeup on all night. Um, Urban Decay also has some good eyeshadow palettes. They are kind of hit or miss sometimes, but I mean, that goes along with a lot of brands. So yeah, I mean, I would give it a try, give it a whirl, and if you have dry skin, I know they do have one that's more catered toward drier skin tone. Or, not skin tones, but skin types. <laughs> okay. Carrying on with high end. Oh, hold on. I have, I have the other, I, for, I can't believe I forgot about this. I've also been using this since I was like 13. This is the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. This one I actually got at Nordstrom's Rack for 10 bucks. If you have not gone to Nordstrom's Rack and checked out their makeup, do it because you will find some crazy good deals sometimes there same with Marshalls Roth all those places like that Burlington even you'll find some great stuff this is just like the original for me I really enjoy it I know a lot of people have, are kind of like feeling meh about it now that a lot of brands are coming out with primers for your eyelids and everything but for me it works great I just put a little bit on my eyelids and then I set it in with a powder or a skin tone eyeshadow and I love it I don't know if I'll repurchase now that there are some more affordable ones, but this one I did get like half price, so if I was to run by this deal again, I would definitely get it. And I've ran out of quite a few of those. I don't even know. I have no clue. Could be three, could be four. Not ten for sure, but... <laughs> uh, the last high-end brand that I think I'm going to talk about is... Let me see. Yes, this will be the last one. This is Kylie Cosmetics. Um, and this right here is the Burgundy Palette. Now, why I, cho why I chose to bring the Burgundy Palette is because it is the palette and the product by Kylie that I think is the most worth it, especially if you love warm tones. So the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Those are actually Kylie's eyes there. It has her signature on the back, has the names in the of the shades. You open it up and it just says Kylie, which, I mean, that meh. Um, what, Nate? Okay, thank you, Nate. <laughs> He's telling me what time it is. <laughs> and has beautiful shades in here. There is four shimmers and five mattes, and I really enjoy this palette. I love it. Um, I don't think I'll need to repurchase it because there's a lot of other really great warm tone palettes out there. But I definitely think like $42 for the pan size that they have right here and everything is worth it. It's great palette. Um, and I'm not recommending it because it's a Kylie product. I'm recommending it because I think it's a great product and also made in the USA. So yeah, and I'm gonna talk about their kind of, I call it like sister brand just because they're made in the same, um, whatchamacallit, same factory. And that is ColourPop. So I did not pull out all of my ColourPop products because I would be here literally all day. I enjoy their Super Shock shadows. I enjoy their Press shadows. I enjoy their Satin Matte Lips. I enjoy their, um, 
Ultra Matte Lips. So this is Ultra Matte and First Class. This is my favorite Ultra Matte by ColourPop. It's like the craziest, brightest red, and I just adore it. Like I can't get enough of it. It's kind of orangey. I really enjoy it time and time again. And then I just pulled out Jacquard, I think. It's the Satin Matte from like their Peachy Collection. I really enjoy this one as well. ColourPop has amazing products and the price is there. It's made in the USA. It's great. And they're also cruelty free. I don't know about vegan, but ColourPop is also cruelty free. So I think that's really cool. And I really enjoy their products. Like I said, I keep a lot of them in my purse. Um, shadows are great. The pressed ones especially are just amazing for the price that you're paying. You pay like five bucks for a little shadow. And I mean, that's amazing. So I do enjoy those products and I will continue to repurchase from ColourPop for sure. Um, the next brand I want to talk about, since we are getting at like 11 minutes and I do not edit, that's just me personally, is LA Splash. Now this is not a brand I consider drugstore. They used to be sold at Ulta in the drugstore section, but they took it out. And that was years ago actually. This is the color Infectious and Bright's Revenge, and then I have Runic. So these are just their new liquid lipsticks. The packaging is insane on these. Like, they, it is so gorgeous. And these are really nice. I thought they were gonna be like a satin cream sort of formula, but no. And they smell good too. They smell like vanilla cupcakes. They're like a liquid, like straight up liquid formula. Like. I was kind of impressed that it's not super drying and yeah I've really been enjoying these and I got these half off they're normally 14 a piece I was really nervous to buy them when they were full price but they did a half off sale I bought them and I really like like them I, I'm obsessed with the packaging the packaging is like my soul like I love it so and that's from the new like fallen angels I don't know something like dark like saints and sinners something like that I don't know it's a beautiful collection I think you should definitely check it out they have some glosses if you're more into that the next brand that I pulled from to show you was Jordana Cosmetics now I actually did not know that Jordana was made in the USA so here's some of the sweet cream matte lip colors I brought the shade Tiramisu, Buttercream Frosting, and Creme Brulee. I also have Rosé Macaroon and quite a few other shades by them. The nudes from this collection are insanely good. They are so pigmented, they are not drying, and I love them. Love, 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 love. Would highly recommend. And I love Jordana in general. It's a very affordable brand, and I think it's definitely worth looking into. They sell at Walgreens. These are some more lip lights. These are different colors than the ones I had in my video. Um, I loved those lip lights so much, or the Color Shock gloss lip lights. Yeah, I love them so much. I picked up the other shades when I went to a Walgreens, and I'm so excited. I love them. The last brand. Oh, fudge. <laughs> All right, well, this is frustrating, but I'm, I was gonna, I'm gonna talk about Flower Beauty. This right here is their Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. I did love this before it broke on me. Um, so uh, this is for light to medium. I did, actually didn't know that this was broke until this video, like right now. <laughs> so this is really funny. Um, yeah, so I did really enjoy this palette. I'm going to see if I can find the receipt so I can exchange it or just see if I can do an even exchange at a Walmart because I do enjoy this. They're, it's really soft, as you can tell. And yeah, on the bright side, this highlighting palette is not destroyed. And that was the best part of that palette right back there is the highlights. These highlights are so amazing. I just dropped the brush, but that's okay because I don't really keep the brushes anyway. Yep, there we go. And yeah, they're freaking gorgeous and they are blinding. I mean, 
look at that so pretty so soft so creamy I love them and the last product from flower beauty that I would like to talk about are their flower pot blushes I am obsessed I love them this one is warm hibiscus beautiful beautiful shade I also have sweet pea and the last one I have is peach primrose I love these blushes they are amazing they compete with almost every high-end blush I've tried um, I've recently become a blush fan because my skin is tanner so my shade range is a little wider and yeah, I've really been loving it, and I can't say enough good things about Flower Beauty. I really do enjoy a lot of their products, and I would definitely check them out. They're sold at Walmart, and if you can't find them at your local Walmart, you can find them online, and I do think it's worth it. So yeah, um, that's all for this kind of 4th of July fun USA uh, video. If you liked what you saw today and you'd like to see more, from me. Give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!